Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, we are Nick and Sarah, a British couple who left the UK many years ago in search of something different. And with our two little dogs, we live and travel full time in our camper van when the world permits it. Over the last few years, we've visited over 25 countries. And we've just spent the last winter visiting family and exploring the UK. And welcome back to the channel, everyone, and welcome to Fwengi Roller. Fwengi Roller. Yes. Love saying that. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, last minute decision to kind of stop here. Um, we basically needed to top up with some camping gas mm. and in town, and then we just, it was getting late. We thought, well, let's go and check out the seafront. So we're right down, like, sort of the the far end of eastern the eastern side of the, the beach yeah, it's quiet the quiet end and do you know what it's actually really nice down it's here beautiful, isn't it yeah. frangarola is very built up you know there's lots of how very hectic say? very busy loads of like bars restaurants and all that a little bit tacky in some places i feel as well yeah. down there but this side of the beach is actually lovely it's, but it's, it's really well kept loads of palm trees and the beach is nice and clean and yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's lovely just nice. and if you're less than five meters long in your motorhome or van you can park in these bays there's actually signs up saying less mm. than five meters whether you're officially allowed to stay sleep in your vehicle here or not it doesn't say you can't but you know obviously we did there's a couple of small vans dotted around mm. good night's sleep woke up this morning beautiful down the beach having a swim it's getting quite warm now so i think i'm gonna finish my coffee and i'm gonna go and jump in the sea myself So yes, Frangarola, and this is just like a really quick stop for us. We are going to move on a little bit later on, but it's better off driving when the sun is right above the van. Does that make sense? Because we're continuing east. So if you drive too early in the morning, the sun comes right in the front window and it gets a bit too hot for the doggies. And we are just enjoying another kind of lazy morning here on the promenade. I'm enjoying not only just stepping out onto a nice paved promenade and just the only view we can see is the sea because obviously the Costa del Sol is built up and all around it is big hotels, but all we can see out our side door and this window is a beautiful ocean. And what about and, all the people walking And people by? watching, loving it. It's the perfect place to people watch. Although we do prefer to go to the Costa del Sol, the coast towards Portugal, which is our local sort of beach hangouts, where it's white sand beaches. The beaches aren't as nice here, but the ocean is beautiful. It's the sea, it's the Mediterranean Sea. Sea, sea, sorry the guys. Ocean. The water, the water out there <laughs> is lovely. So yeah, I'm enjoying myself. So even though it is very difficult to leave this lovely little promenade location we find ourselves at, we are going now, several hours later than planned. Did have a lovely afternoon, very relaxed, enjoying the sound of the, the waves and the beautiful sea view.
So we have arrived. Probably wondering where that is. Well, we've come to Lake Vinuela. Vinuela, something like that. Um, it's just north of Velez Malaga. And it's a little bit low, to be honest. Beautiful little park up, set in amongst these like pine trees, little recreational area, picnic tables, barbecues, all that. Very, very nice, but... But the lake is very low and it's quite far away. So we're going to have a little drive and see if we can find somewhere a little, little bit better. Bit it's quite a big area, isn't it? Yeah. So I guess we just go for a little explore. Good morning guys and welcome to our little lakeside oasis and it couldn't be more different if it tried from where we've woken up today to where we woke up yesterday. Um, yeah, so yesterday obviously we were on the busy promenade in Fuengarola, people watching, you know, like um, resorty. <laughs> And then today we've woken up in complete wilderness. There's nobody around. Like it's the weekend. It's so quiet everywhere, isn't it? So peaceful. peaceful. It's just one extreme to the other. And, and, and I think that's what's great about this lifestyle. If you want a bit of that, you can go and have a bit of that. If you want a bit of this, you can get, you know, you can <laughs> escape and have a bit of this. Like it's just insane, isn't it? Yeah, it's so nice. We found our little spot in the end on our own. The dogs have loved wandering around in the beautiful meadow of like wild flowers and although we didn't make it down to the lake it is about 50 meters down that way so we will be going there today um yeah we ran out of time last night the sun was set and just had about enough time to set up a makeshift camp and sarah um, managed to prepare a lovely little snack to watch the sunset and by the way, did anyone notice Sarah's new hats? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's an improvement, isn't it, to Over my the tennis, tennis hat? hat. It's quite cool though. I quite like it. I wasn't sure at first. It was only a couple of euros and I thought, is that a bit... Um... A bit of Vietnam? Yeah. Or... <laughs> we saw, I'm sure. But then I put it on and I thought, oh yeah, that'll do. I like that. Anyway, um, it's time to get set up for the day. I need to get changed out of these winter clothes. What am I doing wearing hoodie and jogging bottoms? It is quite cold in the morning to be fair. We need to get the awning out. We need to move it so the sun's not coming in through the side door because it does get really hot. Um, and get base camp set up so we can get on with things. He's not happy. Not happy at all. Love my iced coffees. Try our little um, frappe, frapperino maker thing, the little whiskey thing broke. And we haven't got another one. We haven't even got a whisk, so I'm resorting to uh, a fork. I'm sure it'll still be good. And our little ice bucket down here for ice yesterday. We still have a reasonable amount of ice, and this is good because you can get the ice water as well. Perfect for iced coffees.
Guys, well, what a day. What a day. What a lovely day we've had. Lovely it's been. <laughs> That's been quite nice, kind of completely relaxed, just hearing mm. the sound of the birdies, getting on with some work on our laptops. The doggies have been so chilled out. There's a breeze that is coming through Ooh, the van and it's divine. just divine. This we've... is the prime editing spot here. So Sarah's been there most of the day. Yeah. There's been a little bit of a pain running off chasing geckos he hasn't actually seen yet yeah he thinks he sees something then he's off god help us when he does see one then we're in trouble. and um and yeah so we've managed to be quite productive mm -hmm. office -y type stuff change the van into an office yeah it just wouldn't have been right it wouldn't seem right just been in the van all day where we were on fengarola promenade it just uh, no. doesn't seem right when you're yeah. out in the middle of nowhere you've got your little camp yeah, because then so, you can leave yeah. the doors open and yeah, do what we've yeah. done, set up camp and mm. have a nice breeze and yeah, set the office up. So it's been all right, productive and good. So yes, it was a really nice day, but we've just been told we have to move on. A guy just came up in one of those like environmental, I don't know, whatever, um, and said that we can't stay here. He was a lovely guy, he really was, it was not a problem and he says, um, in the daytime it's fine but at night time we can't but we can stay over by like the little um, recreational area where we first arrived here by the lakes which is actually a really nice area so we're going to pack up camp and we're going to go over there can't believe that twice in a few days i think we're setting records here but we never get moved on you never get moved on we're it's all changed this, isn't it usually. it's all changed <laughs> but yeah it's literally about two minutes drive along the main road, five minutes maybe. It's about two Or just a little it? dirt track, you can just follow the dirt track. We came along the main road to get here, but yeah, easy, easy to get We didn't there, even so go no, in no the problem. lake yet, my darling, either. I know, but we did walk down, it's a bit clayy. It's a bit clayy, you know, when you go and you stick your feet in. Might have to run down and jump in though, shall we? Clayiness. Not enjoying the clayiness of it. I'll show you what I mean by the clayiness. This is how it is, all sludgy. All sludgy and mucky and your feet just sink in. Oh! But it is really nice, it feels really soft. It's probably really good for your skin. Can I just add that I have just been in half in off camera because I didn't have a bikini on. I didn't want Nick to film me with just like my knickers that are quite small. So just for the record, I did do it as well. That had to be done. I've been sat at the top of this little hill overlooking that lake all day. It's been quite warm. Had to take a little dip before we left. Another thing that had to be done is to point out Sarah's fashion um, statement here. Check this out. What? Can you see that little little rip? You have ripped jeans. I don't know about ripped sarongs. It needs to be a little bit lower though, a little bit lower. A little bit lower. <laughs> I know it's so bad. If there's any companies out there who um, make sarongs. With holes in. No, good sarongs without holes. Please, can you send us some? Because we are so desperate. We've, we've had all of ours for years and they're really like thin. And, and this one just ripped the other day. Right where my bottom is. We literally <laughs> need to replace all our sarongs. We do. We need do. like six new sarongs. So it'd yeah. be good if we can get explorers sarongs, wouldn't it? But I don't know if that can happen. But anyway, yeah. Anyway. Send us some sarongs, guys. And big throws, like big hippie throws. <laughs> Send us what you got. Anyway, we're going to put the camera down because it's really hard to walk here. <laughs> Where's the path? That way. <laughs> What's happened? Sarah's idea this was. I thought we'd take the scenic route, the nice dirt road along the um, side of the lake. We're kind of stuck. Um, <laughs> I have to go forward and try and turn around there. You win some, you lose some, don't you? Get that reversing camera on. Nah, no way we can take this. And it's gonna get worse, probably. It's a good few kilometers back. Oh, a bit smelly. Hey. He's a little 
tank, isn't he? Easy! So guys, we had a really, really peaceful night's sleep. Even though we got moved on yesterday afternoon, um, it turned out all right, because this place is really quite nice. We expected there to be a few more people, apart from us and one other camper in a tent. But yeah, really, really nice. Set amongst the pines, got a lovely view over the lake, loads of picnic benches and barbecue areas, so it looks a bit like a campsite. There's toilets here. Fortunately, they're closed. Um, not sure about these things hanging in the tree, this decoration. There's loads of um, this and like red and white tape. So not sure what's going on there. And this morning, yeah, it's so, so peaceful. All you can hear is the sound of the birds. So yeah, happy. So, and the benefit of being here is you've got shade for most of the day, really. So for all those people who say, oh, your van always looks so clean and tidy, that's because we do this about 16 times a day. This is one of my few jobs. So good at it though. <laughs> so anyways, we have moved location. Basically we had the place to ourselves overnight and this morning in the little recreational area and then boom. There's about 300 people over there. Well, probably not 300, but I don't know. There's parties, there's kids, there's loads of stuff going on everywhere. So we're trying to have a bit of a sort of, you know, admin day, bit of editing. It's the weekend. And that's why we do this at the weekend. We try to catch up on our editing and other stuff like that because everywhere is so much busier at the weekend. But anyway, so we've moved locations only about 100, 200 meters down this little track to get away from the, the, the party atmosphere over there so we can get some work done. Did we bring the other shower head for this now then? This is fine, but... You want a bigger one? Oh, I'm sure we had a nice, you know, one of those massive ones. The spa hotel shower head. Cold shower? Mm. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh, don't leave me hanging. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it's run out. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Ooh. Good job there's a water fill up just in the recreational area. Now, I've been asked a few times what are those little hooks that are on the, the side doors in the front? Well, they're little magnet hooks and they're useful for so many things like this. Towel, pants, t-shirt, shorts. That's enough editing for now. It's time. Been a good couple of hours stint, isn't it, love? Mm. So I've moved the kitchen outside to prepare evening meal because it's just lovely out here, apart from the shouts from the mad rabble over there. Party goers. Party, proper party goers on a Sunday afternoon, right? Like it's been so loud, but you can hear the birds in between the party. Anyway. Ooh, look at this though, look at this. Look yes. how colourful that is. We're having... Um, noisy um i think in the last vlog we had two tofu and we're having it again today but we do have lots of other things we don't actually have tofu that often do we anyways yeah. we're having pasta mm. this is my pasta but it's not pasta it's um courgette use courgette spiral courgette spiral like noodles, little, isn't it? yeah so instead of having like pasta pasta look at this lovely yeah. setting though look at this there's so many of these little areas lovely clear in here it is just absolutely Surrounded beautiful. By lake. It's beautiful around here, isn't it? It really is lovely. Just not that lovely on a Sunday. We should have gone back to our spot that we were in um, yesterday, far away. 
Not to worry. Look at that. They're looking forward to this all day. What's going on here, darling? <laughs> Extra long spiral courgette noodles. They're a bit hot. Are you cooling them down? Should we do Lady in the Tramp with Charlie and Dizzy? <laughs> <laughs> Another cracking little meal whipped up by Sarah. I hope it's enough. It's a bit small. We'll have to have something else. My noodles didn't turn out exactly to plan. So we're just moving the van to another location. This is the last night in this area, by the way. We will be leaving tomorrow morning. So the final location is a real lakeside location. We didn't come down here earlier because there's no shade, but I think it's a pretty good spot to spend the night. And Goldilocks tried the third spot for the night and it was perfect. What do you think, Goldilocks? I think it's a really good spot. Right now, it's very, very hazy looking over towards the lake. As you can see, but once that sun dips below the mountain. Uninterrupted views, uninterrupted views. Yes. I think it's the best, yeah. At night, for sunrise, sunset, it's perfect. During the day, you may get a little bit toasty. A little bit toasty, hence the reason there is nobody here. You can just literally see the whole lake. Good morning guys and it's a very very bright morning here down by the lake. We were going to leave um, early actually, we we're going to leave really early and move on to the next destination but as you can see it's hard to leave when you have such lovely views from the van. It's quite nice in the van at the moment, it's quite nice and cool because the sun's at the back here and yeah so we've just been doing a little bit of laundry, Nick's doing a bit of editing and just uh, starting our day here in this beautiful location. There's nobody else down here, you can just hear the sound of the birds but it is very hot out here in the sun. So someone's soaking up a few rays. Come on you, I think that's enough now. Come on, back round into the shade. You don't want to get sunburnt. Here we go. Someone's been out chasing lizards this morning. Hey. And then just look at the view from the sofa. So yes, it hasn't been um, that easy to leave this morning. Hence the reason we're still here. So we have finally left Lake Vignali. Vignali, what's the name, my darling? Vignuela. Vignuela, we've finally left. Um, and it feels good to be back on the road. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but Nick had a little van haircut before we left. That's the mohawk this time. I'm not losing it again. Not yet. We uh, we um, we filled up our waters before we left, and uh, we also had little showers this afternoon. So we're all fresh and uh, and all ready for action and all ready for the next destination, um, which is east towards Granada, towards the mountains. We're heading for the mountains. So guys, we have arrived at our next destination. We're not going to tell you where it is, where we are, you're gonna to have to wait till next week for that. But check out that beautiful blue expanse of water behind me. Yeah, and check out our campsite as well. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Look at this. Place to ourselves again. Where is everyone? Where, Where are all the everyone? banners in Spain? The world might have ended and we wouldn't know about it. Another beautiful spot on the shores of some sort of lake or water. Lake, body of water. Sea. Could be the sea. Could be, could be an ocean, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we're going to end the vlog there, guys, in case you hadn't guessed already. Yeah, lovely drive, by the way, through the mountains, mm. wasn't it? 
Vinny was getting a little bit hot. He was onto the M of norm on the little heat radiator yeah. thing. We're debating shall we go along the easy road along the coast and then cut inland to the mountains or through, through the, the mountains. mountains. It was like 50 kilometers less, but the time difference is like 10. Yeah, but it's probably sense. Yeah, I don't know whether it's so good because you're winding, you know, low gears and all that, but it's good fun, it's good fun. Yeah, beautiful drive. Um, anyway, yeah, so we'll, we'll end the vlog now. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Please make sure you hit that like button and- um, Subscribe if you haven't. Yes, yeah, so Otherwise sure you won't be able to hit the like button. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, which come out every Thursday evening. Say hello on our socials, the other ones, you know, the Instagram Instagrams yeah. and the Facebooks. Instagram, Facebook, follow us there for daily updates, cute dog stuff and so much more. So make sure you're following there. We've also got TikTok. Head over there for funny little videos. Just in case and you miss us too much during the week. Yeah, so there's all sorts. Anyway, I hate long goodbyes, so... We'll end it now. Thank you all so much for watching and Take we'll care, see guys. you next week. Love you all. See you next week. What have you found there? Look what I found. A big lump. Look at that. I don't know, but can we keep him? Will he's he fit? He's quite sweet, isn't he? He's like a little sand monster. He is quite cute. Is he camouflaged over there, just watching us? I think he's, um, I think he's fairly well mannered. Mannered, you know. I don't think he bites. I don't. Think he's got the energy. Look at him. <laughs> he's very tame, isn't he? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tired. <laughs>